What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on the Embers Golf Channel. Trevor's got some sweet dark black boxes, a little bit mysterious that we're gonna be reviewing today. Trevor, crack open what we're talking about. I got the brand new 2024 edition T unreleased TP5s and TP5X. The brand new ball, redesigned golf ball. So we're gonna test these bad boys today because this ball, TP5 has been having a lot of momentum the last few years, mm -hmm. especially with their picks design, yeah. the cool limited releases they've been doing on their website. And it's this guy right here has been the giant in the in golf ball industry for a long time. Yep. And um, they've been slowly losing market share to guys like TaylorMade. Yep. To guys like ChromeSoft or the new Tour. Yeah. Chrome Tour. Chrome Tour. Uh, which we're going to be reviewing soon. We don't have them yet. Strixon Z Stars yeah. are making some big momentums. I think those are some of the best Tour balls in all of golf. And they're slowly chipping away at Titleist. Now, Titleist is still number one. Mm -hmm. But we're going to put, I'm going to hit the TP5s against the Pro V1. We're going to see if we're going to get faster ball speeds, better spin, higher, better launch. Tate's going to put the TP5X, the higher compression ball, up against his gamer, your Srixon Z-Star XVs. Now, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, these are the three best tour balls in all of golf. Yeah. Minus the Chrome Tours, because we yeah. haven't hit those yet. But we're going to see if these are my three favorites. Can the new redesigned TP5 outduel the industry standard Pro V1? And my and gamer. Your favorite club ball, yeah. the Strixon Z Star XV. Let's go. How about that one? Holy That's cow. Cool. Okay guys, don't forget, if you're in the Denver metro area, come in, get fitted for yourself. We can hit a bunch of different kinds of golf Andrew balls. To, do you mind? Sorry, go ahead. To make sure that you're playing the right golf ball for your game. By the time this video drops, the TP5 and the TP5X from 2024 will be on our shelf. So if you're watching this video and you want to come get a dozen, come on They're down here. to Embers Town. I like it. Embers Town. <laughs> I just made it up just right you now. You can email us right here. Yeah if you want to place an order, or you can text us right here. Yeah. And it'll be Tate and I personally texting you back. Yeah. Or emailing. If you like to email, yeah, we'll email you back too. Sure. Okay, so let's talk tour balls. So tour balls typically are for higher club speeds. So mm -hmm. I hit my driver 100, 105 miles an hour. Tate's above 110. Um, we're getting some controversy on this video, but if you need a softer ball, it's probably not gonna be one of these balls. It'd probably sure. be like TaylorMade's Tour Response. Oh, that's a hot ball too. Um, People are loving that. The Q-Star Tour Divide by Strixon. Mm -hmm. I think the AVX by Titleist. Mm -hmm. And the ERC by Callaway. Yeah. That should be the category you're in if you're a slower swing speed. But for today, everyone loves the Tour Balls. That's what we're gonna be testing. Yeah. So we're doing wedge shots, seven irons, and drivers. Yeah. Now in our ball testing, I think we see a, the, the Closer we get to driver, the more these balls start to separate themselves usually. Yes. We're gonna start with wedges. Um, we're gonna tell you just some feedback on feel that's not gonna show up on the data. Some baseline. But let's see how spinny we can get it. Now, yeah. Tate plays the higher compression. I play the regular. So I expect less spin across the board, really. The other thing too, is we think about TaylorMade as a golf ball. They're really, really starting to do things. With the PIX model, like Trevor said, TaylorMade is a hot play. Obviously, Titleist, the Pro V1, Pro V1X, the Pro V1 Left Dash is like a purist. So if you love a pure golf ball and you're, you're kind of a little bit more old school, you're gonna want that Titleist logo. But TaylorMade is really making a dent. Oh yeah, and, and so here's a visual if you wanna get up close. They look about the same as last year. A little bit different alignment. Higher, Trevor, higher. You keep A little bit below. different alignment aid. But very, very simple, Man, understated. that logo looks so good. Looks really good. See, these are the little prototype ones we got. So Tate's gonna be playing the X. Now, this is just a little personal thing. I love the red number. <laughs> I like the number being red. Yeah. That's just me. But you'll be able to, on TaylorMade's website, change that number to pink, blue, gold. There's a whole, a whole option of colors you can customize these balls. Okay, well, should we get some wood shots going? Let's do it. 
Okay, Trevor, so you're hitting the Pro V1. Let's, uh, let's see what you can do with 50 yards. So what's new with the TP5? They have a new redesigned faster core, should help increase ball speed, so it should go further. Um, I think they have a new urethane cover, which should help with aerodynamics and okay. speed as well. Yeah. And the sound is supposed to be better. So sound is a little hard to, to uh, measure in the studio, don't you think? It is, us? it is. And I know a lot of people kind of grind on us, but the sound is sometimes kind of linked with feel from a player's perspective. I don't necessarily hear a ton, except for with wedge and putter, but I can feel whether it's clicky or soft. You want to go right into TaylorMade since you're in the groove? TP5 time, I'm excited. I'm not a good enough golfer to really tell on feel and sound Just feel a huge difference. If I were to describe this ball differently off feel than the Titleist, the word I would use would be crispy. Okay. It's a little crispier. Feels like it's coming off the face just a little hotter maybe, maybe not. So I'm hoping that this TaylorMade ball is really good because I actually really like the picks design. It's been one of your favorites over the years. I just like to easily, super very, super very, very easily mm -hmm. identify my golf ball out on the when, in the weeds. Oh yeah, because that's where it is a lot. Super very, very recognizable. There you go. Nice. Here we go. Fifty yards. This is with my gamer, the Srixon XV. 50 yards. Oh, she's gonna have to get down. You think the, the TaylorMade has a tall order for you because you absolutely adore that golf ball. I think so. Middle of last year, I switched from the Srixon Diamond to the XV. Would and you say, would, made a huge would adore difference. be an appropriate term? I think so. A good adjective? Yeah, because I love it. And I feel the biggest difference on driver. I compress the ball so much with my irons. I'm not super worried about um, around the greens. I can usually get it to stick, but with drivers where I can usually tell the biggest difference. <clears throat> also, because you're on Strixon, you get free Strixons. Yeah, that makes a big difference too. <laughs> so that's gonna make it tough too. Cause you gotta pay for TaylorMades. And a little side note, I know this is a TaylorMade review, but if you haven't tried a Z-Star or a Z-Star XV, I think it's easily the most underrated golf ball Yeah, in all of golf. In Strixon America. does not get enough love. In America. Yeah. I hear Strixon dominates in Asia and South Africa. Yeah. In this country though, this ball, this brand does not get near the love it yeah. should. And give us some feedback. If you're in maybe the UK or in the States, if you're in an area, let us know if you share that same sentiment that yeah. you don't see enough Srix on. Yeah. Oh, that was crispy. Is it crispy? <laughs> Took a chunk of it. Oh, sure enough. Let's see. Oh, it's holding up fine. After one? <laughs> After one shot, it's durability. It definitely sounds different, huh? It's almost like a little, would you say higher pitch? Yeah, it sounds like a it does crispy. Sound. Are you big on golf ball sound? Uh, I can't say I've ever really paid on putter. <coughs> Putter's the only club I pay attention to with sound. Yeah, I, I don't, same like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I'm real skilled enough to be that picky on sound, but some guys, it's like drives them nuts if yeah. they don't like the sound, the, if it, the golf ball doesn't have the right sound. For sure. I'm not one of them. That's going in a little short. All right, Tate, pull up the data, but 50 yard shots, especially for guys that aren't that good, mid handicappers like us. Like I said, sound, I'm not picky on it, 
that's more of a, a personal preference. Same with the way the golf ball feels. None of that's gonna show up in the data. Um, on data, I think what we're really looking for here, Tate, is, is spin, really, right? Yep. Now, Tate's gotta take out a few of my hosel rockets I had with the Pro V1. Okay, so we're really focused on spin rates. Ball speed is not huge on wedge. Pretty much similar. I think I was a mile an hour faster with the TP5. It felt a little crispier off the face. A um, couple hundred RPMs. A couple hundred, hundred RPMs more. Carry was identical. So just like I thought, I was thinking um, with wedges on these green side shots, I don't know if we're going to see a huge difference. Yeah. But 50 yards. See. It's it, there. It definitely was more spinning. Yeah. And I felt like it was grabbing off the face a little bit more. That, now, is that placebo or am I really thinking that? I don't know. For me, I had it's faster. almost the same ball speed, a, little a mile faster. an aisle faster, but 300 RPMs more spin. So the, similar to Trevor, my carry and finish was almost the, it is the exact ratio, 44 to 46, two yards of run out, but 40, 7,700 RPMs and 8,000. So I did get more spin with the new TP5X. So that's encouraging to see. Yeah, and I, I know that's not a ton, but that's it's the extra two or 300 RPMs. It's gonna be it's six gonna inches. A, a, yeah. or, or a couple feet on a rollout, a yeah. foot on a rollout. That's Could the be. difference between a two putt and a three putt sometimes. Yeah. For me. All right, seven iron? <laughs> seven iron. So this is where we can start to pay attention to launch. So with my seven iron, I, I'm not looking for just extra spin. Um, as amateurs, sometimes we have a hard time getting the ball in the air. So if we have a golf ball that can produce a higher launch to offset our terrible swings, then that's a good thing. So I'm looking for the, a better ball flight. And same with seven iron. I know my, my irons go far enough, so I'm not really looking for a ton of extra distance on my irons. Really the most important thing to me, characteristic in, the, in a good ball for iron shots is a high ball flight. That's more important to me than total distance on irons. You feel that way too? I agree. I'm, I'm honestly that same way. Seven iron, obviously you want a seven iron to stick well. Um, but like Trevor said, the ball flight, all of that is, is more important. So you're on the Pro V? Yep. What do you want it at, 180? 190. 190 for Big Boss. So essentially I can break up the characteristics depending on the shot. Pro Wedges, v. I'm looking for the most spin. Seven iron. Irons, I'm looking for the highest launch. And driver, I'm looking for the highest ball speed, most distance. Yep. And I'm looking for a ball that can give me all of that. So I'm starting with the Pro V. Okay, here we go with the seven iron, my gamer, the Srixon. Okay, there we go. Srixon's put away. The TaylorMade TP5X is now in, in the play. Okay, moment of truth, here we go. It felt a little softer. Felt softer? It felt softer, did it sound softer? Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention to the sound. <laughs> Told you I have the habit. Sound, I mean, it sounds good now that I'm thinking about it. The flight is higher, it seems. It does seem a little higher unless you just flush that one. <laughs> wow, that was, what was that? A little thin. It sounded like a hosel, but it wasn't. Okay, TP5 time. Does, I like the feel off the face. Yeah. That felt really good. Sounded good too, I like do like the sound. All right, Trev, there's your data for the Pro V and the TP5 on a seven iron. Okay, so let's look at it. So before we pay attention to ball speed, what I really wanna focus on is launch angle. That's how high the ball is launching. All right, so 19.9 with the Pro V felt good, but 21.5, so almost two degrees higher launch angle. Now it doesn't show that in this comparison, but let me just look at the table quick because 
let's look at our descent angle. So the launch angle is how high the ball launches off the face, okay? The descent angle is the angle it comes into the green. So if you're not a good golfer and you struggle with spin, we need a higher descent angle to help give that ball stopping power. So the launch, where's my, let's see here. So my Pro V1 descent angle is 39.9. I'm always trying to get to at least 45. Now let's see what the TP5 was, 44.4. So that did it. So that gave me my five degrees better descent angle, um, which is gonna give me big time stopping power on the greens. Better spin rate, uh, almost 800 RPMs better with the TP5. And this isn't as important here, but ball speed, four miles an hour faster. So it was carrying nine yards further. So we don't need that extra yardage, but if you're a guy that needs yardage, um, it's coming off the face a little hotter too. Yeah. So faster, launching higher, and better spin. Okay. That's a win so far on the seven iron. Let's That's see about win. you. Okay, let's see what we got here. See, this is, you're, you do so well with your Srixon, I'm really curious. Woo. So, same thing as Trevor, Woo. two miles an hour faster, but look at my spin. Again. Within 40 RPMs. 40 RPMs, that's angle. nothing. Identical. My launch angle is identical. But it's further. But my TP5 went six yards further and then four yards more of rollout. So it went it's faster. And it stopped faster, which is cool. I'd take this set of figures, which is the TP5X, which is cool. Yeah, because but, if, you're not, if you're going further without sacrificing any launch. And better stopping power. That's equal. No, you're not sacrificing it. It was identical. Your 15 stopping yards. Power. What is that, 13 yards? Uh-huh. So two yards sooner. Yeah. That's, that could be on or Just off the green. Just a touch more spin. Yeah. Okay, but now the most important club for feel can be the driver. Driver. So let's get it on. All right, green set at 300 yards, the Pro V1, you know what to do. Now this is where it's really all about ball speed here and spin ball, rate. Ball, ball speed. Ball speed and spin rate. Because if we can get faster ball speeds with lower spin, that's going to make the ball go further. Pro V1 time. How about that one? Yeah, Holy cow. Bolt. Nice shot. I'm telling you what. I'll tell pull. you what, shoot. I'm not going against the Srixon, but we hit Srixons in the bay. I think this probably be one's faster than Srixon really? Diamond. All right, here we go. The Srixon XV. TP5 with the driver, this is the one I'm most excited about. Should it just naturally go further be when you're syncing up a QI-10 with the TP5? I, I think they, they've engineered it. The marriage it. of them together, they've yeah. engineered it to work better that way. The tailor-made on tailor-made. Always works better. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Boy, that's just pure. I was a little high on the face there. I hate when I hit it high on the face for 310 yards. Okay. <laughs> Man, I don't, this ball's not spinning. That's awesome. That's why it's going so far. I'll let Trevor give you his final take, but I hope the mojo that the TaylorMade just gave him is given to me. Okay, 300 yards, TP5X. On the tee, here we go. And it was a miss. I swung it fast though, 112. All right, I'm hitting everything left today, so um, my spin is lower than it normally is anyhow. But 149 mile an hour ball speed with the Pro V1, 15 degree launch angle, it's maybe just a touch high, 2500 RPM spin, 278 carry and 305 total. So check this out, 153. So I'm getting three miles an hour faster ball speed, a better launch angle, lower spin. So it was going a little straighter for me and that lower spin 
will help with distance too. So I was getting four yards of extra carry, three extra yards total. So again, not a, not a giant difference, but I'll take the extra four yards off the box. Oh yeah. And if, if off the face, it, I, again, I don't know if it's just because I striped a few, but it, it felt better. Yeah. Again, I don't know if that's in my head or not. Okay. Okay. Now here's my results. XV, Strix on XV, which is in my bag against the TP5X. So the Strix on XV, 153 ball speed, 3600 spin, 260 carry, 284. Now normally my ball speed's hovering around 160. I didn't have my stuff today, um, but that's okay. That's why we do each, we don't have just a set set of data. It's based on each swing. So the TP5X, I did have more ball speed, four miles an hour ball speed, 500 RPMs less, and a lot more carry. My total was an average of 302. So um, you, you have a much bigger gap in your distance because you're getting a lot less spin. So I think that's why you had that huge gap in distance. You had 18 yards, but that's because you lowered your spin. Yeah. So for you, that's a big deal. Are you gonna cut RP. one of these open? Yeah, we'll cut one of each. Where's your TP5? Um, oh, here it is. Yeah. Let's cut open the TP5. See what she looks like. I'm sure you wanna cut open a prototype. Too late. The so TP5s always look the coolest because they got five layers in there. Ready? There they are. This is the regular? That's the regular. Cut open the X. Let's see if the core is a different color. There's all five layers. So what you have in your hand right there is the TP5, the regular. Now this is the TP5X. Oh well, yeah, it is different. So the blue is the TP5, the red is the TP5. Not that X. you're ever gonna see that. There is five layers though. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty sweet. Core does feel a little firmer. Yeah. A little bit, not a, not a huge difference. Okay, so let's All give right, our let's, final takes Let's here. roll a few and give our final thoughts while we see how they feel off the putter face. Okay. Final thoughts across the board. I would definitely be giving this ball a shot. For me, I think the fact, I can't, I'm, again, I'm not good enough to tell a huge difference off the face. Okay. But the fact that it was almost identical around the greens, gave me better launch on my irons, and was faster ball speed off the driver, it's borderline no-brainer. Yeah. At least over the Pro V1. I got to test it up against my gamer, the Srixon. Yeah. So I was thinking the same thing. If I take this ball based on the data, I'd give it at least three rounds. The biggest thing for me is off the tee box. If I feel like I have control with my driver, the rest will fall into play. Here's what's crazy is it's almost like a unicorn. Like how can they get, increase your green side spin, increase ball speed and decrease driver spin? Yeah. How do they increase green side and decrease driver? It's crazy. Yeah. They've done it. That is crazy. So it is by far going to make our top five. The TP5 will make the top five ball review. And it's borderline number one. Yeah. Right now. We still got to hit the new Chrome Tours. Yep. But. Yeah. I agree. It's definitely. It's a real deal. It's definitely a, a, a high-end ball. The picks. I love the picks. You guys might uh, have to keep an eye out for these. Give them a try for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully that data helps you. Hopefully that gets you in the mood to try some more tour balls. It's never a problem to no. be trying new golf balls because that means you're playing golf, which is an awesome thing. I just can't tell a difference off the putter face. It's not yeah. good enough. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, check out our website. See you next time. Please subscribe. Do all of the good stuff. It helps us out a ton. Thanks for watching.